Hello friends, I'm Akash and a hearty welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to be diving into a topic that can be quite humbling for anyone. And that topic is saying English words wrong. You might be surprised at how many everyday words even native speakers have been unknowingly pronouncing incorrectly. So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at 10 English words you might not even know you're pronouncing wrong. So let's start off this list with word number one, a real classic that trips up even the most experienced English speakers, library. A lot of people will tend to say library, even though that seems to roll off the tongue so easily. The correct pronunciation is actually library. Library. So the next time you want to recommend a book to someone, make sure you're saying library correctly. Next up, at number two, we have the word nuclear. This one has caused a lot of problems, especially with native speakers. Many will call it nuclear, but actually it's nuclear. I'll say it again, nuclear. The next time you want to talk to someone about your scientific knowledge, make sure you're saying the word nuclear correctly. For word number three, I'm going to be talking about one that is a bit ironic, pronunciation. Yep, you heard that right. The word pronunciation is often mispronounced as pronunciation, usually because we're thinking of the word pronounce. But it is not quite like that. The actual pronunciation of the word is pronunciation, not pronunciation, pronunciation. That's why we spell it N-U-N, not N-O-U-N. So, the next time you want to talk to someone about spelling words and saying them right, make sure to say the word pronunciation and pronounce it correctly. Number four on our list is February. This one is very similar to library in that many people will say February just because it sounds a bit easier to say. But the right way to say it is February. I'll say it again, February. It seems like Mother Nature didn't want us to breeze through this month's name after all. But February is exactly how you should say it. At the number five on the list, let's talk about the word often. Many of us will say often. We are emphasizing that letter T. But did you know that the correct pronunciation is often? That's right. The T in this word is completely silent. Honestly, this is something you're just going to have to memorize. But once you get used to it, it'll just become second nature to you to just say the word often without the T. Next up, number six. Let's talk about the word determine. Now, there are quite a few people who will say determine or determine, but that's not actually how you say it. Again, the actual pronunciation is determine, determine. Note that the stress is on the ter, and it's not mine at the end, it's min, determine. Next up, let's take a look at our seventh one. This is by far one of the most common I've seen amongst everyone, mischievous. Because there are so many who will say mischievous. But take a quick look at the spelling and it immediately becomes obvious that mischievous is the wrong way to say it. There is no I between the V and the O. It's actually next to the E. Which means that how you should be saying it is mischievous. I'll say it again mischievous. Think of it like the word mischief. It's the same root. So mischief, mischievous. It's right, time for word number eight, jewelry. Or to be fair, this one has had a lot of people stumbling for quite some time, especially because it kind of differs depending on where you live. Now, the thing is, there are some people who will pronounce it jewelry, but 
there isn't any vowel in between the L and the R, at least in our American spelling, which is like this. So, in this case, you should actually be pronouncing it jewelry, not jewelry, jewelry. And in Britain, where this word is spelled slightly differently, you should still be pronouncing it jewelry, because that is just the proper way of saying it, no matter where you are or who you are. Our ninth one also focuses on American-British differences. That word is spelled. Yep, again, yet another one that is a bit ironic, given some of us will tend to mispronounce it. But the thing is, a lot of people will mistakenly say spelled, L-L-E-D, as spelt. But spelt, L-T, is a separate word, which is the British way in which you would spell the past form of the word spell. But if you're here in America, you're going to use spelled, S-P-E-L-L-E-D. So when you're spelling it like this, you're going to say spelled with a D, a D sound. Compare that with the British form spelt with a T. So there is that difference, all important. And finally, number 10, we have comfortable. This one is honestly a bit confusing, especially because there is an OR directly in the middle of this word, which makes a lot of people say it as comfortable. And although this is a pronunciation that is somewhat accepted, there is a more common pronunciation that I would recommend for you to use. And that pronunciation is comfortable or comfortable. This is a very important distinction to make because it is a great way to symbolize whether you're getting really good and almost like a native at English. If you are, then this might come naturally to you. And if it doesn't, you can just get used to it and things will hopefully be changing. And there you have it. 10 English words that you've likely been mispronouncing, but now that you can fix. We've all been here at different stages, especially natives have managed to get some of these just a bit wrong. So don't worry. Embrace the joy of learning, enjoy expanding your language skills, and most importantly, have a good laugh at these pronunciation mishaps. After all, they are just one step in the way of your journey to success in English. Thanks so much for watching. If you like my videos, then make sure to subscribe and don't forget to click the bell icon so you don't miss another one of my videos every time I upload. Once again, thanks so much for watching. Love you, Akash.